Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Oh my goodness, it has been a really long time since I last shared a painting video. And I am currently working on a Levi custom. So I came across this uh, blushing, you know, hands that are um, in a fist form or just, you know, those little fingers that are hard to paint and get into. I thought, oh, I want to share my trick with you guys as to how I get into those little tiny places. Because for forever, I used to just use a cosmetic sponge and, you know, just try to squeeze in that little tiny space. But I noticed that when I would do that, then I would start removing paint in another area or smudge paint on another area because it was on the sponge and ah, I don't know if you guys know what I mean. So when I was going to paint or blush this arm this morning or this little hand, I was like, like I already said, uh, I need to make a video on this because I bet there's people out there that don't know how to get into the tiny little spots um, of the vinyl and blush that area. So this is what I like to use. The same brush that I use for creasing or blending out my creasing color. It is the same brush that I use for blending out these little tiny areas that need to be blushed. So like the fingers or anything near the eyes. Uh, just make sure that you use a brand new, a brand new brush or a clean brush. Um, you don't want to apply any color from a previous project like creasing color because it will end up on your doll and it'll most likely be a darker color and you don't want this on your doll's little fingers. For in the video, I'm using two different types of brushes and these are actually makeup brushes, so cosmetic brushes. I find these either at Target or at Walmart. My most favorite one is the e.l.f. brand concealer brush and that's the one with, with the darker tip. Um, I was using it earlier here in the video and the one that I was using just now, the one with the white handle, that one right there, that one is actually a wet and wild brush and I believe my wife found it at the Dollar Tree. It's not my favorite, it, it does it does the job, but I feel like my favorite is the e.l.f. one. So a trick here that you might want to do when you, it comes to blushing fingers that are curled in or any of those hard areas to get it into that you cannot get into with your cosmetic wedge, um, the trick here is to apply a little bit of paint with your paintbrush, the one that you're actually using to dip into the jar, so for me it's that wooden one that you guys just saw. So I apply a little bit of paint and then with my blending brush, I move the paint around and um, I set it, I move it to the areas where I want that color to be. So I finish blushing the rest of the finger, if that makes any sense. So I notice that I work a lot on applying and spreading the color and that gives you that nice airbrush effect, I think. So yeah, so that is my little trick on painting this little hand that belongs to Levi or any little hand that is curled in like that. Another little hand that comes to mind is Twin A. Um, I believe Saskia also has a curled hand. There's so many dolls that have curled hands and I believe this is a trick to get into those areas. And believe it or not, it's something that I've recently started doing. I've been reboarding for seven years and it's something that I just started doing. Um, for a while, I was using the cosmetic sponge and I guess I never really thought about, you know, I guess it really didn't bother me then, I don't know, but it's really been bothering me now. And I figured out this way and I wanted to share it with you guys.
so I'm now going to show you guys other areas of blushing um, so I will be blushing now the knuckles then the elbows and then around the shoulders and I'll show you guys exactly how I do that I am using the same color nothing has changed I use one color for all the blushing and then I also like to use that same color from for modeling so I keep that same spectrum of reds and pinks ready to show you guys how I'm going to blush the other hand the other hand I feel like has a little bit of overlapping fingers so it can get a little difficult to blush those fingers those fingertips I should say but do not be afraid to move that vinyl around I mean seriously you guys are going to see me bend Levi's little fingers around you guys are gonna feel so bad for the baby and you guys are gonna see me like this evil monster <laughs> but really do not be afraid to move those little fingers around and really get in there it is very very important that we completely blush that finger so we can get that realism that we are looking for so I will show you now for the remainder of this clip here I'll show you how I blush each little finger
side of Levi's little hands. And as you can see, I'm also using that method where I apply paint and then I move it around, this time with a cosmetic wedge because it's easier. And I like to use the ripped end of the sponge. I don't use a flat um, sponge. I feel like there is a different absorbency. <laughs> I know it might sound crazy, but a flat, a flat edge and a ripped edge completely absorbs differently. I feel like with the ripped edge, I get more absorption. I don't know if that makes any sense. And it's an easier spread of the paint versus using a flat. <laughs> so now I'm going to blush the rest of her little hand. I'm gonna blush her knuckles. I'll move to the elbow and then her little shoulders. also going to show you Levi's little face blush. I don't actually show footage, but I do show the blushing pattern that I did. 
And after blushing, guys, the next step that I like to do is mottling. And I'm also going to show you, um, here's my mottling sponge, but I'm also going to show you pictures of Levi's head with mottling and the incredible difference that mottling creates. I was trying to tell this to my class at the Rose Doll Show, the ethnic class, which we also did mottling, believe it or not. For an ethnic baby, I do also do mottling. But anyway, I was letting them know the incredible difference that mottling creates on our reborn babies. And you guys are gonna witness that in the following picture, well, not exactly this following one, but the one after this one here, you guys, is so much life. So, so yeah, I hope you guys, there we go, there's a modeling, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely stay tuned for this baby to be born. This Levi is a custom doll, so this one won't be available for adoption or anything like that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!